Small sized works of art done by contemporary artists were put together in a fair organized by Iwalewa and Ugiriko Art Gallery in Lagos. All of them were unique, but for me, the installations were simply brilliant. Two galleries collaborate to get this show on the road, inviting veteran artist David Dale to commission this art fair, which is strictly for miniatures. Over a thousand of them are here, and the underlying factor here is youth. Well, it's all about miniatures, exhibiting small works in terms of sculptures, paintings and drawings. We have over 1,000 pieces of works by over 101 artists. So this is the Ken of Daniel. And what he's actually done, they are miniatures in the sense that they're about 12 by 14, and he's actually done a complete image on uh, six panels to make a picture. You can have a good work on your wall that's pricey, and it's a miniature. The, the, the art is not determined by the size, it's determined by the message. So as expected, there's a lot of young blood here, and though the pieces may be small, it doesn't take away the craftsmanship nor the dexterity of the artists who have created them. It's actually kudos to them, as this is no mean feat. There's no particular criteria. Miniatures are hard to do. Even masters will admit it's quite tasking to the eyes. And I find a lot of young artists do a lot of miniatures. Basically, that's the attraction for it. And it's just a way of bringing them all out together under one roof. Even though Mrs. Sahuv has given them the thumbs up for a job well done, for the artist, art is about the content and not the size. So whether one has created a life-size installation and another miniature paintings, the message the work is conveying should be the key. Okay, that's, um, it was a guest artist, Jungle of Africa. So we're just exhibiting culture. So he's, he does installation, so as part of the exhibition, we wanted to show something different for this show. Um, Try to tell the story of art, but not on the big canvas this time, on a smaller canvas. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the size of the work that matters, the content of the work. So that was how we came up with the concept of a tale of a thousand miniatures. Like for my, for the ones that are on the Ripple Thought series, they gave, after taking the images, I saw that they gave like a feeling of imagination and thought and being very colorful. Some parts the colors faded away, which meant that um, if, if, if we are too deep in thought and not focused, we can lose the natural colors we have in our lives. That's why I tagged Ripple Thoughts. I have uh, several art pieces here that I showcase. One of them, Waiting. And uh, the reason of uh, that very art piece is, a, is an art piece of a woman seated on a chair and waiting, looking directly into, uh, on a flower place on the ground. A lot of us in life, we are waiting for some certain things in life, but not taking a step, moving from where we are, hoping that that very thing we are expecting is coming forth for us. But the, uh, the work is to jet us up. It's all about documenting life or fulfilling an assignment which runs deeper than the eye can see. These are my documented works for the past few years. I started from the film era and I love documenting life to preserve for the future generation. That's what I use my medium for. I'm a photojournalist, a documentary photographer. I also do street photography also. The one with the downfall, that's how Osho the Agege Motor Road used to be before Fashola changed that narrative in the past. I took that work like 11 years ago, is it? Something like that, during Fashola time. That's when I took that one. Why the, the, the other one, the art? These are Gwari people. I travel a lot around some communities in Africa. I like to go deep down to tell the common people that the voiceless people to bring them out of the world to see with my medium of photography. When I look at objects, I'm drawn to the abstract part of the object. So say for example, you and the light cast an image of you. 
I'm drawn to your image, to the shadow of your image. You understand? And that's why I, that's why I take a lot of abstract words. So I look beyond the very sharp image. I look at the abstract form of your image. Mainly with abstract, you you what you what you sell is feeling. How does my work make you feel? How does any of the series make you feel? So I would ask whoever wants to purchase it, how does it make you feel? You know, it depends on how it makes you feel that will draw you to that art. You know, and since I'm not in control of either the color or the form it gives most times, eh, I just leave it to you know every other person's opinion. One, I have an egg um, in a in a forest. And to me, I was trying to create a life. It's very deep. To me, the egg is the beginning of a new life. And in the forest, you have everything that makes the egg, not really the egg, the egg is an example. But to me, my work comes from um, spiritual feeling. The other one, it's, um, it's also spiritual and has a lot to do with self-growth. One is from the Ripple Thought series. Those are the ones with the red and the ripple effect. Then the other one is from the Submerge series. Okay, my, uh, my medium is photography. I do abstract photography and conceptual photography. But the ones I presented for this art fair are my abstract photography. I use good canvas, I use good quality canvas, I use good oil paint. Sometimes I use palette knife when I create or sometimes I use anything. I like to go where people don't go to, to go and do the exclusive. With photography you can create extraordinary art piece. You can, you can, you can record the moment with your medium, with my kind of medium, photography forever. At the corner of the fair, a live drawing session is going on. Whatever you start doing, do it well. And I believe with the onset of 1,000 miniatures, it's just the beginning for us to pull in together more than 100 artists for next year. The veteran artist, David Dale, takes his time to admire the next generation stepping into his shoes. Did you notice the installations I mentioned earlier? Amazing. And there's a lesson there. You can start small, then walk your way to the top and become a veteran artist.